Howdy here there YouTube, it's me, Sizzle Games, and I'm here to bring you another Wi-Fi battle. It has been quite a while since I've done a Wi-Fi battle, but, uh, my friend, Shnun Games, uh, we were on Skype, and he had just finished battling the Neo Gamer, and he was like, hey, you wanna, or we were like, hey, you wanna have a battle or whatever? He was like, yeah, just bring some UUs. He accidentally brought in a Gengar, but I don't really care. So, anyways, I'll start off with Squawk, my... Zatu, and it got completely wrecked by that Gengar, almost. I did live, and I'm able to t uh, put up a light screen, then I switch out, and I switch into Hitmontop. Uh, he could easily take a Shadow Ball, I knew that, but his special defense is dropped, but that's not such a bad thing. So I knew he would switch out, so I go for a fake out over here. Doesn't do too much at all, but, you know, I'm not really complaining too much. So I go for a Sucker Punch also. That does quite a nice chunk. He goes for Acrobatics, and that's definitely going to take me out, especially since he told me he didn't have an item on this Crobat. Anyways, I send out Rotom now, and he switches out because he knows I'm going to use an Electric type attack. So I go for a Volt Switch over here, and it does quite a lot to this Gengar, more than half, so that's, that's pretty good. Then I switch into Swellow, and once again, again, or not once again, what's it called? I just go for a straight Brave Bird, and that kills the Gengar. I thought that, uh, Swellow was slower. I forgot, I don't know why, but it, it wasn't. Well, I know it, I know why it's not, but anyways, I go for a Facade here, it takes it down to red, then he goes for an Ice Fang and completely wrecks my Swellow. But yeah, Swellow's base speed is 125, Gengar's is 110, but whatever. Anyways, I go for a Bug Bite, that definitely kills Maxi Boy Speak over here, and that's all good in the neighborhood. And then I switch out my Scyther, because I don't think it could take anything. But he goes for a Roost, and I'm like, crap. I, uh, didn't see that one coming. Then he just goes for a U-turn, completely wrecks Squawk over here, so, whatever. So now, I'm thinking, what should I use? He goes for Zap, his thing, and I go for my Heat on again, which is my Scyther. Uh, his Galvan his Galvantula, uh, it's not really that big of a deal, really. Come on, I mean, come on. It's it's Scyther. Scyther's too awesome. So he switches out into uh, Crobat, and I just go for a quick attack, and it does a pretty nice chunk, especially with that sword stance that I did. But he does take me out, so whatever. So now I go for my Nido King, Nido King female. Get it? Because it's blue. Well, whatever. I go for an Ice Beam, predicting that Galvantula will come out, or staying in with uh, Crobat. Either way, it was fine with me. And that does take out Galvantula, so that's pretty sweet. Then, he switches into his Winky Face, and Winky Face just gets a Thunderbolt straight to the head. I mean, there's no way it's living that, especially with Nido King's Life Orb, or not Life Orb, whatever it's called, with its ability. And then an Ice Beam to Crobat, whatever. And that's three Pokemon Nido King has taken down. Nido King is pure beast in UU. But nonetheless, his hit on top uh, does take the Earth Power pretty darn well. But uh, that that is the end for what's it called. So I just have one Pokemon. We both have one Pokemon. I have Motor, and his Sucker Punch does really not too much to my Motor at all. But uh, yeah, and then that's that's the game right there. Leaf Storm, and I win. And, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry if the narration was a little off. It's just that Camtasia skips around, so while I was seeing one thing, another thing was happening. So, Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye!